Hey everybody, it's your girl Justin and welcome back to my channel. So before I even get started on this video, I want to give a big thank you to everybody for showing love to my channel. A few days ago, I hit 500 subscribers and I know that's not a big number compared to a lot of other YouTubers, but to me it means the world. And I'm just gonna like be thankful for like every single person, every single milestone. Like I don't care what the number is. So again, thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to me and joining me on this journey. I will say though that I have a very, very special giveaway planned for whenever I do hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right guys, so I feel like I have not vlogged in so long. I don't think I've vlogged since I've been back from Jamaica and that was over a month ago. So I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, I really don't have anything planned for today, but I did at least want to show my face on YouTube. As you can see, <clears throat> I just got out of the shower um, and did my hair. I actually cut my hair. I don't know if any of you guys can tell. I didn't cut that much off, but it is shorter. I am currently on, of course, a weight loss journey, but I'm also on a healthy hair journey, which might surprise a lot of people because I get so many compliments on my hair when it's, you know, big and curly and stuff, but... Honestly, my hair is super unhealthy right now and it's been unhealthy for a while now and like I'm really unhappy with it because I can just tell that my hair is just not, it's not what it used to be and it's crazy because I haven't even been putting heat in it. Most people like when they're having, like when their hair is natural and they're having problems with it, like the first thing people say is like quit putting heat in it. You know quit straightening it or whatever but i haven't straightened my hair in over a year and i can feel that it's still unhealthy so recently i have been like looking into like youtube videos about curly hair but not just how to get it all pretty and sparkly but how to actually take care of it health wise so I don't want to bore you guys with that in case like there's some people who just really don't care about that kind of stuff but I just wanted to you know say that I am trying to nurse my hair back to health. I had a bunch of split ends and that's basically what I trimmed off. I wanted to get it professionally done but I really just can't afford it. Plus um, all the stylists that are within a few hours from me they were booked all the way out until august so it wasn't gonna happen anytime soon anyway one more thing and then i'm gonna quit talking about this topic but um i was looking at videos about how to take care of my hair and i came across some videos that talk about the actual ingredients in curly hair products and they talk about like what to avoid and whatnot and after i watched that I went back and looked at all of my products and literally all of them were terrible for my hair. They contain silicones and parabens and literally they're just suffocating my hair. So this week I went and tried to like start from the drawing board and I'm trying to experiment with some new products more natural for my hair so that my hair can actually come back to life and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to tell a difference in the months to come. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff and like hair and health and I don't know, just stuff like that, let me know. I know my channel is mainly weight loss related, but I'm kind of like on a journey like all the way around. Like I just want to better myself physically as far as my weight, my hair, my skin, everything. And also mentally, like I just want, I'm on a journey to becoming like a better person. I know that may sound cheesy, but yeah, just let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. All right, moving on. I wanted to show you guys something that I did. Let me pull them out. Your girl meal prepped. Guys, I finally meal prepped and I'm so so excited I basically made the same thing I did in my last video which was chicken but instead of uh, rice I did beans because the rice I don't know it got old so I um, took a not a parmesan chicken what is it called I took a rotisserie chicken and um, one of the ones you find in Walmart that's like already hot and ready and I deboned it and I basically split it up in between five containers, but I ate the first one yesterday. 
And um, I wasn't honestly really trying to meal prep. In my mind, I always think that like Monday's the first day for everything and you know, just start on Monday. And it was the middle of the week and I was like, I really, really do not want to wait until Monday. So I've kind of been like having to force myself to do things in order to get things done. One big problem um, or habit that I have is as soon as I get home from work, I will literally like spend hours and hours scrolling on my phone, watching Netflix, just watching YouTube videos. I literally just spend so much time wasting the day away. And I think it's because, you know, I'm spending eight hours at work every single day. And once I get home, like the first thing I wanna do is just like chill. Like I don't wanna do anything else cause I just finished working like so many hours. And then it's almost like I chill and it's not until like 11, 12 o'clock at night that like I get re-hyped up and I'm like, oh, okay, well what do I need to do now? It's in those like hours of the day that I wanna clean my whole house and I wanna go to the store and cook. And it, it's like, it's just so backwards because like I should be starting to get ready to go to sleep but then it's like my body gets hyped up again after like I've chilled for about five hours. So I've been trying to come home and instead of reaching for my phone just force myself to get certain things done and go to the store immediately which if you know me I hate that because I hate big crowds but yeah so that's what I've been trying to do. I'm moving to the kitchen because it's better lighting. All right guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen that I've been meal prepping. I'm gonna put my Instagram name, where's somewhere that I can put it? Up here. So my Instagram name will be up here. Make sure you go follow me and check out because I always post on my Instagram stories. I also wanna talk about another app that I have been using recently. It's basically called Twin Body and this app if I can sum it up in a nutshell, is social media, but for weight loss. So pretty much everybody using this app is trying to lose weight or has already lost weight or is in some way connected to the weight loss community. It is a positive community of people who are trying to motivate each other and keep themselves motivated and disciplined and all that. And it's really cool, so I suggest you guys all check it out. I will leave a link to the sign up thing in my description box so make sure you guys go check it out. And the best part is that it is free, it is completely free, they're not going to ask for your coins so there's no excuse not to join. So make sure you guys go down below in my description box, click on that link, install that app and make sure you guys go follow me. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video, it's probably going to be a pretty pretty short video. Like I said before, I honestly don't really have anything planned for today. It's really just a chill, home, bummy day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. For today's comment of the day, I want you to comment down below your username to the Twin Body app. Make sure you go down below in my description and install that on your phone and make sure you comment down below your user's name. I'll be following everybody back who comments and I will be showing you guys much love. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.